Welcome to Healing Homes 5-Day Connection Challenge. I am Kristen Foltz, your adoption advocate and parent coach at Healing Home Coaching. Welcome. Today, we are going to talk about mornings from wake up to the school bus. Now, I know your morning is usually either peaceful and calm or extremely chaotic, and anything in between can be stressful, overwhelming, and maybe not even necessary. So what I would like to talk about briefly with you is ways you can connect with your kids during your morning routine. Now, I am fairly unorganized at times, and I even forget my own advice. So we're going to go over a few ways you can pre-plan the night before or day before for a happy good morning. The first thing I would suggest is to have the lunch prepared beforehand. Now, if you have a picky eater or someone who's having a hard time to finishing their lunch or they have sensory overload in the lunchroom, a great way to help them feel more calm during the lunchtime is to put a cute little sticky note in their lunchbox. If they're having a hard time with picking out what they want to eat for lunch, help them with that. If you're one who will pack their lunch and they just eat what they're supposed to, that's a great time where you can connect with your kid. So having your kids prepare lunch with you, giving them choices, do you want PB&J or do you want a chicken sandwich? Bologna, peanut butter, and give them choices. Give them choices that they will choose and that you're already okay with. So they feel like they are making a decision, they have more buy-in on what they want to have for lunch, and you're a happy camper. Clothes. Now, I know the sock gremlin comes out very early in the morning. So have your clothes prepared beforehand. Again, picking out clothes with your kids is a great way to connect with them. So giving them choices. Pick an outfit that they really like to wear and they haven't worn in the last 24 hours. And pick an outfit they don't always wear and give them that choice. If neither one of those outfits are the way they want to go for the next day, go ahead and compromise and let them have a third option. Always be prepared for your child and you not to like that choice, but be willing to compromise because in those moments, you're letting your child know a couple of things. One, they're being heard. Two, you're concerned about their well-being. And if they don't happy in an outfit, why cause a problem to begin with? So it's about compromise and relationship and working together to create a happy morning. Start the next day, the night before, like I mentioned. So that could be reviewing homework before bedtime or before dinner, um, collecting your things and having them at the front door. Now, I know that some of these things seem very elementary and simple, but they can really bring the stress level down for you as the parent and cause a lot more structure and let the child know what's going to happen next. Which brings me to the next point. Having a list or a picture board or a dry eraser board with the morning routine for kids that have a hard time with staying directed and staying focused. If you give them an opportunity to have a picture board, let's say, for your younger children, picture boards are, work really well, and um, lists and expectations work really well for the older kids. So if you have a child who's, say, five or six, and they're having a hard time staying focused, and they haven't been able to get out of bed quickly enough, the whole, you know, chaos is about ready to blow up in your face, a picture board is a great opportunity to have the child still have control of the morning, but you are guiding the way. So having different things like get up, brush your teeth, get breakfast, put your socks on, get your um, book bag to the front door, and we're going to be out the door at, say, 8 o'clock. You can tell your child, go look at the picture board. Have you looked at the picture board? What does your picture board say? And so you're still connecting with them. You're still directing them, but they are responsible for what comes next. I know for me, we are an oil family. So each morning I have the diffuser ready with wild orange, which to me is like sunshine in a bottle, and peppermint. It gets the brain juices flowing, it's happy, and it's a great scent to have going about 10 to 20 minutes before you know your kids are going to be waking up. 
Now, self-care is another very important thing that will just set the tone for the day for positivity. So that means no hitting the snooze button. That means getting sure, making sure that your coffee is set and ready to go. Having your own items ready to go because chaos happens in a split second if we are not prepared as the leader of the ship. You know what I mean? Practicing routine is another great way to help your child understand the flow of things. Now, I have a young child and she has the attention span of a gnat like most of our little ones. But that's the beauty of it because they can do things over and over and over again. And they find such joy and excitement over the tiny little things. Take that excitement as inspiration for you. And don't stress about the fact that you have to tell your five-year-old a hundred times the very same thing. Because as they grow, they're going to remember the happy times. But they're also going to remember the stressful times too. So those happy times. Research show that if you can do the same thing with your child, around 12 times you are creating a positive neural pathway in the brain for memory and motor memory for your child. So if you do something 12 times with laughter and happiness and joy, you can create brain activity and pathways that create connection and memory versus doing the same activity over a hundred times with no happiness and no joy and no connectivity. You can still create the brain pathway in the brain, but it's hundred times versus as little as 12 times. So connect with your kids on a daily basis, starting with your morning routine. And learn that mornings are going to be chaotic. Understand and appreciate that some mornings are great and some mornings are just going to be a hot mess. And getting them to school on a decent hour, maybe not even on time, is an accomplishment. Reviewing what happens at school is a great way to prepare your kid for the transition from home to school. Now, if you have the ability to take them to school, use that time to connect and use open-ended questions to get the conversation going. Have a great day. Jump into the Facebook group Connection Camp and tell us how your day went and how you connected with your kid. And if you need more time with me, don't forget to go to HealingHomeLifeCoaching.com and schedule a connection call with me. Enjoy!